my channel. This is the first video, or first actual video, video yeah. on my Lone Fox channel, which is my new home and DIY channel. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that me and Nastasia have done so many collab Clubs, videos in yeah. the past. We always have done like these DIY collabs and they've been super successful actually. Yeah, and you guys always, always that. request them. So this is the first ever DIY collab on my current or new channel that you're currently watching. Make sure to hop on over to Nastasha's video right after this. Subscribe to her channel if you are not already subscribed. Give it a little and thumbs up. A thumbs up. up to both of the videos. Yeah. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's my first DIY on this channel and I think you're gonna like it a lot. So there's three projects here and then three over on Nastasha's channel. channel. So you get like six uh, projects in these videos. If you just stumbled across my channel as well, you can definitely subscribe. I plan on posting hopefully two videos a week, but I do have two channels to maintain, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, let's just hop in to the video. Let's jump into this DIY with this really cool sunburst mirror. I love this. All you're gonna need is a hot glue gun, round mirror, a little piece of cord, and then two different sizes of popsicle sticks. I used a five and three eighth of an inch and then like your generic four inch popsicle sticks. And all I did was take the longer popsicle sticks and use a little bit of hot glue to glue to the end of the mirror. And do keep in mind that hot glue is not the best for gluing to mirrors, but it is a quick and effective way. So if you plan to just hang this on the wall right after and not move it or like mess with it as much, you're gonna be totally fine. But I just decided to use hot glue and I glued around the bottom half of the mirror using the longer sticks and I just left tiny little gaps in between because I knew I wanted to add the smaller um, or shorter sticks sort of in between to layer it up a bit. So as you could see, after I added the bottom ones on there and left little gaps in between, I then flipped the other popsicle sticks on their side and kind of laid them in there to where they were tilted like this. I guess you can watch the video to see how I do it. I don't really know how to explain it. I just tilted them in there and shoved them in the little um, slots that it created in between the sticks and this just sort of gave it a 3d more dimensional like really thought out look that I thought looked really amazing and overall it added a really nice texture to the bottom half of this mirror and I really love it you could actually do it to the full entire mirror if you want to and really create a nice circle shape but I wanted it to just be on the bottom half and then I just glued on a tiny little string on the back and added extra glue to secure and you have your perfect little hanging sunburst mirror On to round two, we're making this mixed metal minimal wall hanging with all these little moons. I love this. And all you're going to need is a hot glue gun, some thick cardstock, wire cutters, chain, pencil, and spray paint of choice. I opted for this really pretty metallic copper. And I first started by spraying my silver cardstock, which is really, really thick cardstock with this metallic copper spray paint and let it dry. It looked so grungy and amazing. Next, I use my wire cutters to cut about one yard or whatever length you're gonna want your banner to be. And then you're also gonna cut pieces that are gonna be actually hanging from that top section. So I cut about a six inch strand, an eight inch strand, 10 inch strand, 14 inch strand, um, and sort of varied the lengths of chain because I really wanted that varied look when you glue it to the actual chain. And I took my main piece of one yard length of chain and folded it in half to find the center point and glued my first piece because I knew I wanted one hanging moon right in the center. And then I went ahead and added um, other various lengths of chain on the left and right side. I honestly suggest going for a odd number of chain because I think it just makes it look a little bit more visually appealing. And by the way, guys, I did use hot glue to attach the chain because I knew that this was not going to be a heavy DIY. It's just going to hang on the wall. Hot glue will work totally fine. It works amazing on metal like this. And um, if you want to, you can use like jump rings or actual jewelry findings, but I felt like the hot glue would just be perfect. And then I also created two little loops on the ends of each of the chain, just so I could hang them on nails when they go on the wall. So this is essentially what it looks like. It's pretty self-explanatory if you just look at it. And next up, we're using our copper paper that we created, and I'm drawing out some moon shapes with a pencil. You can freehand these. That's exactly what I did. I really love that organic shape. And then I cut them out using scissors. And a tip when cutting out round shapes is to always move the paper and not move the scissors. Hold the scissors steady and you move the paper. It gives you a much more rounded shape. And then I use a little bit of hot glue to glue the moons to the end of each of the chain. And after that, you are essentially done. You have your really cute little mixed metal moon wall hanging. You can really it customizes to whatever you want. Maybe you don't like moons, you could add stars or whatever you would like. And that's your final project.
last but not least, we have this super simple Polaroid photo frame holder, and all you're gonna need is a wooden sign, some white paint, a paintbrush, a screw hook, and some clear little bags. These ones are three by four inches. I got them at Michael's. And I started off by painting my wooden sign, which was also found at Michael's for just $1.50, with some white craft paint and just a foam brush. And once that was dry, I used my screw-in wall hook, which you could paint white like I did. You could screw it into the top of your board here, and this is going to sort of create the hanger for your little Polaroid frame. And I took my bags and I used a hole punch to hole punch at the top of the bag. And a tip when hole punching through plastic is just to put paper on either side. It goes through much easier. You could slide a little Polaroids into these three by four bags and you can put like 20 of them on here and hold them all on your little frame. Or you could punch directly through a larger Polaroid. Like I have larger ones like this as well. And I personally didn't mind punching directly through because I love the way that it looked. And once you're complete, you'll have this little Polaroid photo frame which you could hold multiple Polaroids in or just one on display that you really love. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to scroll over my profile photo to subscribe to my channel you could also check out a video from my fashion channel on the bottom right and a video from my current channel on the top right thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one